This is our Reckless 40. Uh, this is a bag that we designed for um, longer day rides and also for ultra minimalist overnight trips. Um, it fits really well on a dirt bike. It's got a really aggressive forward lean to the bag. So it sits up here on the rear fender or the back of the seat. But uh, this also fits great on my 950 Super Enduro. This is a KTM 300 two stroke. I've got it rigged on here. Uh, we've seen people put this on all different size and style of bikes. Um, so it's a really durable bag and I'll walk through some of the features. For materials, we use 1680D ballistic nylon. And then in the high abrasion spots, in other words, the first spot that hits the ground when you drop the bike, we use Hypalon, which is a really tough material. It's designed for rigid hull inflatable boats. Um, for our uh, dry bags, which sit inside the harness, we have a welded seam dry bag construction. So these are all radio frequency welded. There's no sewing involved, literally no uh, way for water to get inside. And then we have a clear front here so you can see um, what's in which side pan here. This is what's included with the kit. You get the Reckless 40 harness, which is one piece. Then you get the, uh, this heat shield, and I'll show how that mounts on the bike. You get two of these cleats, which are used for connecting the rear connection straps on the harness. You get two side dry bags, and then our Stinger 8 tail bag. To mount the Reckless 40 on the bike, first take the harness, position it on the bike where you want it to sit. Uh, the leg straps, you're going to find a spot uh, to connect them either to the frame or to the passenger foot pegs. On this bike, I don't have any passenger foot pegs, so I like to loop it around the frame like this. It comes back through the cam buckle, and then the excess strap can tie around like that and do a little half hitch. On the back of the bike, you can see I've put the mounting brackets that come with the kit. I installed these onto my plastic fender here. It's just the... Um, bracket itself, a bolt, and a nut on the backside. You can do those through the side of your fender, underneath, or from the top. If you have a, a standard luggage rack, then you won't need to use these brackets. You can just loop the uh, bag through the loops on your luggage rack. The rear connection straps on the Reckless 40 loop either through your luggage rack or through the attachment brackets like this, back underneath the beaver tail, and then through these ladder lock buckles in the center of the harness. Like that. The excess strap can just kind of sit underneath the center bag in the harness, like that. So the side bags slide into the harness, like this. And there's actually a hole at the bottom of the harness and a handle on the bottom of the dry bag to help you push it into place. The uh, dry bag comes apart like this and connects to these side compression straps on the harness. And then this center compression strap goes over the top of the dry bag and pulls tight. The Stinger 8 sits in the center of the harness. You can see there's Velcro here that corresponds to Velcro on the harness. Stinger 8 comes in, sits down in the harness like that. And then this strap on the inside of the rear beaver tail goes underneath this piece of webbing on the Stinger 8. That way the Stinger 8 is completely trapped on the bike. It cinches down like that and then the beaver tail closes over the top. Use of a heat shield is extremely important with the Reckless 40. Uh, this is the heat shield kit that comes with the bag. You can see how I have it mounted on my dirt bike here. So uh, if any part of the Reckless 40 bag or your plastics comes into contact with your muffler, it will melt and damage the bag or damage your plastics. So you need to find a spot for the heat shield where it's keeping your plastics away from the pipe and also the bag away from the pipe. If you don't have it underneath the plastics on a lot of dirt bikes, when the bike goes down on its side, the bag will push into the plastic, the plastic will push into the pipe and you'll have a big mess. So absolutely recommend using the heat shield. Uh, it's a little bit different on every bike. So you'll have to look at your particular bike and application and mounting and uh, find a way to make it work. One cool feature of the Reckless 40 is double layer waterproofing. So because the waterproofing is based on this inside welded seam dry bag, you have this outer layer which is designed for abrasion resistance that takes all of the abuse. So campfire sparks, abrasion when you drop the bike, tree branches and rocks scraping along the side of the bag, all of that abuse happens on this outer harness which is designed to absorb it. As long as the inner dry bag is intact, your stuff is going to stay clean and dry. Another cool feature of the Reckless 40 is this rear beaver tail. 
So the beaver tail is designed to be a quick stash spot you can use during the day. Say for example, uh, you're riding, you get hot, you wanna take your jacket off, or you bring an extra jacket with you on the ride because maybe it's gonna rain. You can take your jacket, fold it up, and tuck it inside of the beaver tail, like this. And like this. It's also handy for wet things, like if your rain fly and your tent is wet, uh, you can tuck it under there. When you don't need the extra webbing, we have these handy strap keepers on all of our straps. They roll up like this, and you can either tuck them around behind the main body of the strap like that, or if you prefer, you can leave them loose like this, and it gives you a handy little thing to tug on when you're cinching down the straps. On the inside of the beaver tail, we have this handy mesh pocket. It's good for storing paper maps or uh, your phone, things like that. On the outside of the beaver tail, we have this fleece line goggle pocket. So this is great for fitting a pair of uh, motocross goggles. If you're switching between pavement and off-road riding, you can use your visor when you're on the pavement, switch your goggles when you go off-road. Uh, it's also handy for just wallet, phone, sunglasses, stuff like that, because it's got a fleece lining. It's not gonna scratch up your glasses. On the front of the legs, we have molly panels. So I have a separate video on molly webbing on our website. Um, but these panels are very handy for adding extra fuel bottle holders. So if you want, you can add a fuel bottle holder here, one on the other leg, and that gives you the ability to carry a gallon of extra gas. One liter here, one liter there, one liter in each of the two rear pockets uh, to extend your uh, fuel capacity and also to have the weight low and spread out around the bike, not all in one big bottle on the back of the fender. The Stinger 8, which is included with the Reckless 40, also makes an excellent standalone tail bag. So if you don't need the entire uh, Reckless 40 harness, you're just going out for a day ride, the Stinger 8 has these uh, separate connection straps here, which can go on a luggage rack or rear fender, connect back through the ladder locks like this, and cinch down. So this is quite handy if you're just going out for a short day ride for uh, carrying your tools and tubes and extra jacket, things like that. The Stinger 8 also turns into an emergency backpack. So if you have a breakdown, you need to jump on your buddy's bike, just take the essentials with you. It's got backpack straps that unfurl like this and clip into these D-rings like that. So if you have to hike out jump on a, or jump on a friend's bike, uh, the Stinger 8 will give you the ability to carry your water, uh, tools, supplies, and things like that. Another cool feature of the Reckless 40 is that you can expand the capacity by switching from the Stinger 8 to the Stinger 22 tail bag. The Reckless 40 comes with a Stinger 8, but a lot of customers opt to get a Stinger 22 as well. Gives you an extra 14 liters of carrying capacity. And also the Stinger 22, because of its larger diameter, gives you more space if you're doing overnight trips, you need a spot to tuck. A sleeping bag that's in a compression sack or something that's sort of large and unwieldy like that fits really well in the Stinger 22. The Stinger 22 fits uh, cleanly under the rear beaver tail on the Reckless 40. To mount the Stinger 22 in the harness, just tuck it in between the leg bags like that. Just like with the Stinger 8, you're gonna run the um, connection strap underneath the webbing on the Stinger 22, over the top, and pull it tight like that. And then expand your webbing on the uh, beaver tail straps. Over the top, like that. And that's what it looks like with the Stinger 22. The Reckless 40 is an incredibly versatile bag system. Um, if you get the Stinger 22 with it, you have everything from an 8 liter standalone tail bag using the Stinger 8 as it's, uh, on its own. You get a 22 liter standalone tail bag using the Stinger 22 on its own. You get the Reckless 40 when you rig it as a complete harness. And then if you substitute the Stinger 22 for the Stinger 8, you're increasing the capacity another uh, 14 liters to 54 liters, so you get uh, every, you get an eight liter uh, standalone tail bag, a 22 liter standalone tail bag, a 40 liter system, and a 54 liter system all in one. So this bag system uh, fits on a huge variety, different variety of bikes, everything from a 125 two stroke all the way up to a 1200. Um, it's really versatile. One of the questions we get a lot is uh, from people who want to go camping out of this. I have a separate video that shows um, uh, the practicality of packing camping gear in only 40 liters of space is very tight. It definitely works for minimalist overnight campers, but we have a lot of customers that are running this as a camping bag too, so it works for day trips and camping trips as well. 
Um, check it out. I'm sure you'll like it.